Hey guys, welcome back to Fit After 50. Welcome to today's workout. Today is basically workout number three of the series. We're using bands and dumbbells for our workout. Today we're working on legs and shoulders. The other two workouts were chest and triceps and also back and biceps. So yes, today's workout number three, guys. Here at Fit After 50, I try to provide you with simple home workouts from a fairly small space using very basic equipment. So let's get going in about 30 seconds and I'll see you then. Hi right, guys, welcome back. The first exercise is a front lunge. You can use this just with your bands and we're gonna do single legs. It's 45 second work intervals and 30 second rest intervals. So for this, if you don't wanna choke up on it, we're doing two sets. Step forward, grab your band and just squat down and come back up. Ready? In three, two, one, and let's go down and get a little bit of resistance from the band. If you need more resistance, you can choke up on the band like this. Remember, we're doing 45 seconds. And then we're gonna switch legs. We've got 30 second rest intervals. All the way down and up. Ten seconds left. Five, three, two, one, and relax. And obviously, for our next set, we're going to switch legs. So once again, welcome back to Fit After 50. My name is Paul. Where all the workouts always come filmed from this basement using very minimum equipment. We've got twenty seconds left. Switch legs. Same band for me. I'm using the black band. I'll leave the link to these bands down in the description below. You can check them out if you want to buy another set. I have two sets. Personally, sometimes I like using them for exercises that require both bands. Switch legs, choke up, and let's go. Keep your balance. I always say my workouts are your workouts, and sometimes I do use my balance. But we keep going. Get a lot of resistance. And the end of the movement here, not much at the bottom. If you want to change it up, you can add dumbbells to this exercise and have more resistance at the bottom. 10 seconds left. Keep it up. Three, two, one, and switch it up. We're going to do one more round all the way through. This time, I'm going to add those dumbbells that I mentioned to increase the resistance just a little bit. Let's see if I can do this before the clock expires. I think I should be able to. Maybe. Let's not be too clumsy. All right, we got eight seconds left. I'm adding the dumbbells, like I said, to the bend and get resistance, a little more resistance all the way from the bottom of the movement. So we should have gotten going already. Keep it up with me. So not very heavy dumbbells, but guess what? After 45 seconds of doing this, they become quite heavy. Stay with me. 15 seconds left. Three, two, one, and that's it. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna turn up this phone a little bit so I can hear the clock counting down because it helps me and I won't goof up like I just did. All right, I did right leg. We're switching left to left leg. Switch from left. English, Paul, English, come on. Once again, step down, grab your dumbbells. If you want that extra resistance only. Three, two, one, let's go. Down, up, down, up. Legs, shoulders today to finish our full body workouts. If you wanna check out the chest 
and tricep workout, well, you can click on it now or you can just click on it in the description after you get done working out. That's what I recommend. So finish working out with me right now. Three, two, one, and that's it. All right. From here, we are moving on to the front squat. Let me move this out of the way. Use whatever band you want. I'm gonna start off with the easier resistance band. We're doing two sets. So the easier of these two is the red band. I'm gonna throw the black band down. Front squat, so we're gonna keep it in front of you. Elbows out, kind of rest the band on your clavicle right in front of you. Let's keep going. Three, two, one, and down and up. 45 seconds, just like before. Try to stay as upright as you can. I'm trust me, I'm doing the best that I can. It might not, might not look like it, but it is. And that's what we're all about here. Doing the best that we can with what we got. 20 seconds left. Keep moving, guys. Keep those elbows out. Three, two, one. And I'm going to switch it up to the black band after this because that was kind of easy. Black band, probably twice the resistance, maybe a little bit more. Also getting a good cardio workout this morning. <laughs> All right, we got 10 seconds or so left. So let's get ready. Front squat. Toes point out just a little bit for me at least. Three seconds. Let's get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Keep it up. Twenty five seconds left. Keep squatting, guys. This band is a little too light for you. The next one up is the color purple. Use that one. Try it out. You know, do this workout twice a week and try out different combinations of bands and dumbbells until you find something that's challenging for these 45 second intervals. And that's it. All right. Next exercise. Once again, bands and RDL. Once again, you can add dumbbells to these. From my experience, this band or the purple band is enough for me. I'm gonna do the black band today. We're gonna do RDLs. Try to keep your back as straight as possible. Do the best that you can. Three, two, one, and up. And then butt back and up. And I can probably choke up. And there we go, oh, much better. Now I got the resistance all the way through the movement. But back and up. And up. Bend the knees a little bit and pop up. If my back looks rounded, try it, trust me, I'm trying to keep it as straight as I can. Doing the best that I can. And I expect the same from you, so let's keep going. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and 30 second rest. That was a little light, so I'm gonna find my purple band here and give it a shot with that. If it's a little heavy, you know what? I'm gonna have to suck it up because this is the one I'm choosing to do the next set with. All right, you got 10 seconds left, guys, and we get going for set number two. And after this, we are moving on to shoulders. So let's get ready. I always gotta remember these take a little longer to prepare. Choke up. Oh yeah, much better. Ah. 
hinge at the waist. Front goes back, knees go bent a little bit. And let's go. Eight seconds left. Push it. Three, two, one, and that's it. All right, that does it for the leg portion. Now we are going to be moving on to the shoulder portion. And we are starting with shoulder presses. 45 seconds, which is a long time. So I'm going to use the red band. If you want to get, you can combine it with dumbbells. Here it's a little tough for me because I always hit the ceiling, which is right here. So I'm just going to use the band, and if I do hit the ceiling, at least I won't damage it. I'll just damage my knuckles. So 45 seconds, guys. Ready? Three, two, one, and shoulder presses. One. All the way down and stretch all the way up. Down, up. 45 seconds, like I said, is a long time. Even for me, with this red band, might not provide that much resistance, but it builds over time. Up, down. Keep going. There's about 20 seconds left. Three, two, one, and relax. So my next set will also be with the red band. Like I said, feel free to grab the dumbbells and just add them to your band and then use those both, use both of them. Or if you just want to use the dumbbells, obviously it's okay. Whatever works for you, you got one more set left of the shoulder presses. All right, we get going in less than 10 seconds, so I'm gonna start getting ready. Don't wanna be delayed again. Ready? Three, two, one, and let's go. Up, down. Full extension and full contraction right here. Bring that bend all the way to the touches of your top of your chest. Yep, definitely feeling the second set. I was considering adding dumbbells, I'm glad I did. It's already tough as it is. Ten seconds left. Keep going. Keep going. Three, two, one, and I'm done. All right. From here, we are moving on to lateral raises. For this, it's a lot easier for me to do with dumbbells. I'm just going to do the one, just dumbbells. That's the only movement we're doing. The red band for this is a little much for me. If you want to do a red band, you can step on it and do singles. I prefer to use dumbbells on this. 45 seconds is going to be a long time, even though these are only 10 pounders. Three, two, one, and let's go. Up, down. Take your time. So if you want those capped shoulders, or if you want to build that definition between your shoulder and your arm, your bicep and your tricep, this is the exercise to do. Like I said, 10 pounds gets heavy really quick on this one. If you try to stay to a little stricter form and not cheat. Thankfully, there's only five seconds left. The second set is gonna be really tough, however. One, and I'm gonna relax. All right, relax for 30 seconds. I'm gonna shake those arms out because God knows it's gonna hurt. And after this, we only have one exercise left. There's gonna be two more sets. And we will be done. All right, we have 15 seconds left. I gotta shake him out. Yep, definitely felt the last, probably last 10 seconds on that one was really tough. I was tempted to cheat a little bit, and which is okay if you do a little bit at the very end to squeeze out a couple more repetitions. Probably show an example of that in this set. So I'm taking my time here. Okay, 
She's trying nice and slow, don't want to get hurt. And I don't want to get hurt. God, this makes the 10 pound dumbbells feel really heavy for me. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, do one more. Oh yeah. All right, now we're moving on to the face pull. I don't have a lot of room in this, in this space right here, in this basement, in this room. So, I'm gonna try to stay within view of the camera. I'm gonna tie off the band around this guy's chest. I tried doing around his neck, but I felt like the band was gonna snap off and hit me in the face. I'm gonna stand back, hope you can see me. You know what, I'm not gonna get as much resistance just so you guys can see me. And we're gonna do a face pull. Arms in front of you, and pull back and forward. Back, squeeze those shoulder blades together on the way back. Try to bring those forearms perpendicular to the ground and squeeze back and forward. Stand up back a little bit more, I get a little more resistance. Back, forward. 20 seconds left, squeeze up and relax. Back. I'm going, last the 10 seconds left. Squeeze. Three, two, one, and thank God that's over. All right, got one more set left. Now I really need to shake him out. How are you guys doing today? We have one set left, a minute of working out left. Not even a minute, 45 seconds, 50 seconds of rest, we're done. Thanks for joining me today at Fidesz to 50. My name is Paul, and as always, I take you through these workouts. There's 15 seconds left, I gotta reset this up again. Roughly there. And we get going in a few seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. One, two. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Up and squeeze. I want that strength to come from your back and from the back of your shoulders. <sighs> There's many different ways we can do this exercise. Today's Chose this because I feel like it affects the shoulders the most. Squeeze back. There you go. For me, the bend touches my forehead as I do this. I got 10 seconds left. Three seconds. Let's do one more. Squeeze and back. And that's it, guys. Thank you for joining me today at Fit After 50. My name is Paul, as always, I take you through these workouts every Monday and every Thursday. So make sure you come back for more. Make sure you check out the other two workouts in the series. And I'll see you guys during the next workout.